Area 52 Special Episode This episode is about former alien and UFO encounters in the old Soviet Union. A silhouette humanoid of Glenda, Poland. Events happened in 1959 in Glenda, then Soviet controlled Poland. Several people would report seeing a glowing object descending from the sky in freefall, crashing into the icy waters near the docks. Authorities would send several drivers into the freezing waters in an attempt to locate any wreckage. It all, they will return with a shiny piece of metal, knowing that anything lay at the bottom of the realtors, and the Vernish Navy would restrict access to the docks. Shortly after midday on the 21st of February, a strange silhouette humanoid would emerge from the water. It proceeded to drag itself to the shore. Dressed in a strange and unknown uniform, the humanoid was male, would speak in language firm familiar to anyone. Once at a nearby hospital, hospital doctors would attempt to treat the heavily facialed burns. They'd also attempt to move the uniform so as to treat further wounds on the body, but nobody could remove the garment. Despite its appearance and touch of the material, to it would be thin and light. It proved to be strong as steel and, no, and could not be torn, ripped or torn. The strange humanoid eventually died, presumably of his injuries, but he was placed in a frozen container, taken to a top-secret location and the underground systems of Moscow. Although human-looking, doctors would note several distinct features between humans and a missing man. For example, most internal organs were drastically different to what ours, as it was the circular system. Each hand and foot also contained an extra digit. Some accounts of this incident speak of two, uh, two humanoids emerging from the craft, one who survived and whose own about remains a mystery to this day. Alien battle over River Kama. Kama. 16th of September, 1989. Over the skies of River Kama, near the port of Zyko Stukhova. An alien battle raged. Multiple people, residents of the military, a witness to the events. According to the report, several silver discs fired laser beams at dark-coloured craft. During the aerial conflict, the electricity cut out in much of the surrounding areas. Eventually the dark coloured craft fell to the ground, landing in the swamp land as a military turning training base. For two months armed guards watched as they over the area. Then in November, with a cold winter to weather of winter, a swamp would freeze over. This allowed the military to attempt a revival mission. It's not clear what happened to the craft itself. However, four Soviet Soldiers who suffer from symptoms akin to radiation sickness following the mission. The area has been became restricted, and even airbase become a strict no-fly zone. As well as battles between rival alien factions, there have been reports of conflicts between aliens and Soviets themselves. Here are some cases. In 1979, on the island of Beskirkasiev, aerial sea, are reports of a shootout between KGB officers and a group of alien humanoids. According to reports, several humanoids are shot by a specialist unit. It's unclear whether they were humanoids or would end up in space, Soviet possession, alive or dead. Perhaps an interesting point is to note that the, here is the location itself, the island was a rotation, paranormal activity, UFO sightings. Another report, a silver saucer-shaped craft suddenly appeared of a military training ground. We intentionally and accidentally a rocket fired from the ground to hit the craft, brought it down. Shortly after, five humanoids with large heads and large black eyes emerged from a struck vehicle. A group of soldiers closed in to inspect the sight. Suddenly, the stainless marsh into one single object, which is the shape of a spear, a loud hissing and buzzing filled the air, and the spear 
itself was growing both at right and size. Suddenly fed up intensely. The group of soldiers at that very instant turned into stone. Twenty-three soldiers in total suffered a some dark, terrible fate. Two soldiers who remained back in the shadows escaped down, uh, escaped harm, and it's that's and it's through them that, they, that the report comes. Though the whereabouts of the alien enemies is unknown, the ruined craft became property of the military. They would travel to a secret research institution in Mexico. Moscow, sorry. Perhaps the spear and the activity is followed with some kind of portal. A little bit about Hendrik Ludwig. Hendrik Ludwig was supposed to be one of the greatest minds ever been around in Russia. Highly educated, um, a free thinker who speak and translate twenty ancient and modern languages. Who would be in prison for charges of spying on the Vatican. Charges which lay in a trip when he made the Vatican City decades previously while a student and architect. In twenty eleven it would come to light that although the charge of spy was happily false, some of the work conducted was far from architecture, for reasons unknown, but likely due to his encyclopedic memory, with his historic knowledge and language, is given access to Victor, Victor Library and its wealth of ancient not documents. What Luke would claim he discovered years up before such writers as Eric von Dinkelmann came made similar claims, but was that as treasure was a visit to Earth thousands of years ago. A deep ethnic goodity. Furthermore, they had direct influence on such civilizations as ancient Egyptians, Mayans, and Mesopotamians. He also spoke of the use of nuclear weapons to destroy ancient civilization, as well as describing the pyramids as energy machines. UFO fleet sighting, May 16th, 1808, in Sweden. On May 16th, 1808, civilians living in the small village of Biskov Bakara, which is near Skidgania in Ock to Scotland, Sweden, witnessed a strange event that cannot be easily explained. At present, the village no longer exists, a time in unusual phenomenon. It was at the home of around 300 people. The earth sighting took place in the hot and coldest, cloudless afternoon. The wind was blowing to, from the west. People were still occupied with working on their farms when they noticed the sun shining at their village, suddenly dimming, turning a dull bit red shade. The sunlight became so dark that the villagers would stare right into the sun, not feeling any kind of pain in their eyes. The same time, the darkness engulfed the saint from all village. A large number of spiritual objects appeared from the western horizon. These unterrenized objects appeared small and measured just several inches in diameter. They appeared dark brown in colour and seemed to be headed towards the sun. Then as the strange features got close to the sun and changed their colours from dark brown to black. For an unknown reason, spiritual objects changed their course Slightly moving to a slight to a straight position across the sky to the eastern horizon. When these, these small figures approached the sun, they reduced their speed only to increase the speed pace again and passing in front of it. In fact, it didn't stop here. A significant period of time, new spears appeared from the over, from the west and simply disappeared. Only when they reached the east. That afternoon, a number of spears flying across the uh, well, village. Uh, so many, came impossible to count them. In the eyes of the villagers, it seemed as if hundreds of small bells were, for reasons unknown to them, to be sunny flying to the heavens. This is according to a transcript. The phenomenon lasted interruptedly towards two hours, during which time five millions of swimming bodies continually rose in the west, one after another, with irreality and continued their career in exactly the same manner. And this is the end of Area 52 UFO Special.